fans of the character of Hawkeye, both of them should be excited with the news that Marvel Studios and Disney have allegedly internally renewed Hawkeye for a second season and that it will be going into production as early as next year. So as far as I can see, there are multiple people reporting this and saying it's true. Now, I don't know why Marvel Studios or Marvel Television now didn't just announce this at the TV upfronts, but maybe there's a different strategy. Maybe there's a strategy to start shooting it next year and then announce it at next year's upfronts. I don't know what the plan is. I don't know why Marvel does things the way they do because it doesn't make sense most of the time. But hey, here we are. We're talking about the greatest archer in marvel which one do you think i'm talking about talk about clint kate's pretty great too but let's be honest clint's way better because he's got like years upon years of training on her but i can't wait to see whatever season two is about because allegedly since it has been greenlit marvel studios and disney already have internal plans to when production is going to start and it's been said that it's starting as early as January of next year with a possibility of putting it out within a year to a year and a half of shooting. Now, this would obviously mean an early 26, which I think is pretty decent. But again, I'm just confused as to why they're taking so long to do anything with it or announce it or what plans they have in motion or how does this connect to anything happening in the multiverse saga if it does at all but i do understand why this is one you would want to greenlit greenlit i understand why this is one you would want to greenlight oh my god anyways i get it like guaranteed this is cheaper than she hulk by like you know the longest mile you could ever give it i'm willing to bet that hawkeye probably had a budget that was equal to maybe three episodes of she hulk <laughs> so it's a smart choice and again it's more boots on the ground it's a more toned down not so explosive cg heavy series so again this is exactly what marvel television should be focusing on and just recently if you guys remember i made the report about marvel television going back to street level and trying to do less of the big budget 30 40 million an episode type of deals well this is exactly what falls into that category so um get hyped i can't wait to see what they got in store for this season 